Here's a couple more terrain pieces. These pieces here, this was actually taken out of an old television set. Just as is. There were screws sticking out of there. You know. So, painted them up. And away you go. They're not finished yet. This one here, this is one of the main corner supports. This is one of the main corner supports for holding the pitcher tube in place. If any of you young guys are saying, oh, what's a pitcher tube? You know, that's before we have flat screens and all that. So, <laughs> aging myself, anyways. But, uh, you know, it's got some really, really cool detail on there. And I paint it kind of um, this industrial kind of burgundy, you know. I like that. The other one's identical, so I don't really need to show that one. But like I said, to try to create something like this, you know, is very, very time consuming and very, very difficult. If you if you know where to look and if you can see something that's got potential, you know, that's really where you're gonna, you know, really fly and save a lot of time and make a really cool looking piece. So I got those. And I got this one as well too. So here's here's how it originally started out. So there's the actual mesh, you know, or whatever. The air vents, I guess, from the uh, the, the TV. And there's one little piece here is the one that I took off for this one. But once I get it down like that, you know, it's going to be a nice one. It's going to look awesome. There you go. Here's some other things that I found at the dollar store. Here's a <laughs> Voo! <laughs> here's a here's like a pirate kind of set. One day I'll probably do like a pirate island or something like that and you know have this mounted into a cliff. So I got that, I've already primed it. You know. It's kind of one of those once you got things out and if you're priming one thing, and if you have a train piece that's just kicking around and you're you know meaning to hold it so like if I have this sitting in a box unprimed and I'm working on this why not grab this and prime it at the same time so like I might have like 30 pieces that of things that I want to work on so I'll just grab them all and prime all of them and then that's just something I don't have to do later so it's kind of a mass production type thing so there we are for for scale again Okay. In this box here, I picked up this tank. So it's one of these you got to assemble this yourself. It even comes with a little screwdriver, you know, with the wheels and treads and all that other kind of stuff. I'm gonna make this look ruined as well too. So a little project. It's got guns all over it and, and all kinds of stuff, and it's to scale. So seen it, scooped it. During Halloween is the best time to pick up all your skull stuff. Like I think this uh, skull was um, 89 cents and it was just white before when I got it. So I primed it gray, right? And then what I did was, if you look on the top there, see how it all looks like stone? Well, I just took an X-Acto knife and carved all those little lines in all the way around. Didn't take too long, but now it's actually gonna look, let's put it up here. It's actually going to look like some ruins. So let's get all this out of the way. And always a guide for scale. Now it looks like something, you know, right out, right out of Indiana Jones, eh? There you go. 